We came across San Husma in the Immaculate Conception Hospital in Lekai. His toes and skull were fractured. He's one of more than 10,000 people who were injured in Saturday's earthquake in Haiti. I ran out to try and open the gate, but a cement block fell off the roof of the neighbor's house and onto my head and foot. All week, staff at local hospitals have been struggling with that huge influx, even as many deal with their own life-changing problems. My house has collapsed. We are sleeping in the street. On Saturday when I got here, I saw how many people were in need, and so I decided to work, and I've been here every day. Many of the patients are staying outside for fear the hospitals themselves could collapse in the aftershocks. Some have cracks already, but the doctors and nurses have managed to keep order. In this hospital, the Immaculate Conception, what they're telling us is that they're short on staff, uh, medicine and equipment, but they're just about coping with the flow of people coming in. But the chronic lack of medical equipment is serious. The thing that we really need is things that are about um, um, orthopedic stuff. Like I said, like, like, like this one when you see here, it's, kind of, it's this kind of stuff that we need. All the doctors say the same. They desperately need more materials to treat fractures and broken bones. Without them, the hospitals are little more than waiting rooms for the seriously ill before they can be airlifted to Port-au-Prince. But there are hold-ups in getting supplies in, says Timothy Ward, a US doctor who's come to help. We have a lot of different facilities, there are different organizations that are trying to bring in the supplies, um, but they are having a hard time getting them on site. So there's a lot of, there's a little bit of political stuff as far as like, getting them through customs and everything, and which I understand they don't just want things flooding in without checking. Um, there's also problems in getting gear and personnel to the disaster zone even once it's in the country. That's because a stretch of the only road from the capital to Lakai is being fought over by gangs. From Port Prince to here, it's kind of eight hours trip. The UN is also taking part of that. They are seeing how they can send convoys. But that the first day, since Saturday to, from to, to today, sorry, it's been a huge problem, how to coordinate the convoys. The earthquake was almost a week ago but the need to deal with its consequences remains. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Lekai.